Hello, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're checking out Gotham Knights on Xbox Series X. Yes, you heard that correctly. I did. I decided that I was sick and tired of playing around with the PC version. Was starting to just really get irritating the fact that I couldn't run that thing at freaking 1440p with max settings over 30 frames a second and have a decent experience. So I said, well, you know what, man? I'll just refund that copy and get this. But Steam said no because I played it too much. So now I'm stuck with two copies of this game. Gosh dang it. Do this out of love for you guys. Trust me. Do it because I love you guys. No, because I actually do like this game. That's the thing, man. I like the game. And I just want a stable experience. And if I can't get a stable experience on... on so here's the thing. I woke up today and I was trying to play it on the on Steam and man the VRAM just started going freaking retarded. It was like, "Oh, now you need 12 gigs and 13 gigs and all that stuff." And then it just started shutting down on me. And I was like, "Man, this this game is dumb. It, this thing is so unoptimized. I was trying to record that video too and it just corrupted the file. It wouldn't even it just nothing was working anymore. And maybe it was needing more VRAM because I was trying to record too, but I I don't know. It it was getting unstable. Started shutting down after that, so I just said whatever, man. So now I got a lot of work to get back on to to build my character back up to where I was. But man, this this is feeling just fine, man. This I mean this this experience. So what lesson did I learn out of that? Um, don't try to skirt the ten dollar tax because it will just come back to haunt you. <laughs> The games are always going to be better optimized on the console out of the gate than they are going to be on freaking Steam. Especially if they are running in this useless <sighs> Unreal Engine 4, man. Because it's not that great on PC. So, yeah. So, here we are. Checking this out on Series S or Series X. I, I'm, I'm uploading a video on Series S right now. Freaking stable. Looks fine. This looks just... This literally looks identical to what I was getting on the PC, man. Like, literally freaking identical. The ray tracing, everything, man. This so dumb. <laughs> come on. Come on, Warner Brother Games, Montreal. You, you guys need to do something with this, man. You need to do something with this. You got to optimize this game a little bit better. I mean, it plays fine. The 30 the thirty FPS on this isn't too, too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But, yeah, it... It really doesn't work. It it really does. It really does feel better at sixty frames a second. Like it it does. It every game feels better at sixty frames a second. It just feels smoother. Just feels better. But this right here, honestly, to tell you the truth, man, the way they've got like the movement and the combat and everything, the way it the way it works, it it just feels okay on a on a thirty frames per second. Like like it does. It feels fine. Like running like this, it's not doing the judder or anything. Um, I haven't tested this on the 4K screen yet on my OLED because I know that it's going to give me the dang judder. Um, so I'm playing it on the monitor and it looks even actually let, let's let's put this into perspective because of the down sampling. It looks better on the monitor on 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 the on the Xbox than I'm than I'm getting on the PC version because the PC version locks you to whatever screen resolution you're on. It won't even let me up, uh, run it at 4K and then and then put it over here on on this monitor. Like it won't even let me do that. And I was like, "What? Really?" Or maybe there's a way. I'll find out one of these days when I when I'm brave enough to um, get back on that version and and try it again. But as it sits right now, I will be playing this mostly on Xbox Series X and S until that gets optimized, and then I will continue playing it on there here's the thing with this game guys i do like it there's a lot more i like about this game than there is that i don't like about this game uh and that's that's a big thing for me i will support this game and and be okay with it i i really do hope that warner brothers games can find a way to do something about it but as it sits right now this feels really playable uh this actually feels pretty dang good there's no screen judder or anything in here. Let me get down on the ground level and drive that bike. Yeah, dude, I I don't know, man. I I'm I'm liking this. 
All right, let's see. Because this is when it's supposed to like really start like giving you like the frame rate issues. And to tell you the truth, like I don't know if you're necessarily gonna notice them that much. Yeah, I mean if this if this is dropping frames, ah, it's not affecting my my experience at all. I love the fact that you can rock this bike on these on these windy roads like this. Like with 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 pretty much ease. Like I'm not even hitting the brakes to go around these corners. Now I want to get back over there and find out how this is gonna ride on the uh, on the train tracks where it's supposedly dropping all that frame rate because I want you guys to understand and know that hey man if this is an all right game to play it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a bad thing like I don't want it to I don't want this game to take unnecessarily unnecessary hate if it doesn't deserve it or if it's not warranted. Uh, it, I'd, you know, you'd be pretty hard-pressed, man, to find a game that looks as good as this. That's um, That's got as much content or as much detail as this. I mean, this, this looks pretty good, man. This actually does look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. On this 1440p monitor, yeah, man, this... <laughs> This driving feels good, and I mean, like, you know this channel, man. If you've been at this channel for a while, you know I do a lot of racing games. And for this to feel this good on this bike, um, this this is all right. Yeah, being able to pull stuff off like that. I am a happy person with this. Is it, as long as like your as long as like your frame rate drops and stuff are, are tied just to the drive in the motorcycle, I don't think that's I don't think it's going to be a big problem, guys. I don't. I I just I don't unless there's like some really intense driving sections that you have to be on the bike and and it like and it's really bad. Other than that, like this doesn't feel atrocious. I don't think this is a bad experience, guys. I'm sorry. I got you all worked up. I got everybody all worked up over the 30 frames per second. And here I am. Here I am, man. I, I am putting my money where my mouth is. And I am trying to fix the negativity that I created. <coughs> if I created negativity for this game, I want to set the record straight. And, and back up my... And that's the reason why I bought the game was to back up my negativity. Um, if the game was going to be trash, I wanted to back that up, and obviously it's not. It's not. It's not trash. I don't care what Digital Foundry says. I don't care if they say it's only like 15 frames a second when you drive through the tunnel. I don't care, man. As long as it doesn't affect my gameplay, and I can play the game, I'm okay with that. Yeah, this isn't this isn't a bad experience. I think, yeah, dude, I'm I'm okay with this. You you are just a noob. You're just a casual gamer. You didn't know what you're talking about. Thirty frames per second is trash. I I, I don't don't get me wrong, dude. I don't like thirty frames a second any more than you do. But I like Batman. I like Gotham Knights. I like. The characters in this game, I like the world the build they built. I like what it looks like. I like the way you know what I mean? Like I'm there's there's more things that I like about this game than I don't. But, but you're not even far enough in the game frog to understand what's really going on. Dude, I don't care. It's an open world game. I love open world games. I love exploring them. I could spend hours I spend hours in freaking Spider Man just swinging around the buildings. So yeah, I like this open world. I think it's great. I think it's I think it's nice looking. I'm I'm happy with the way this looks. That's what I'm saying, man. Like not every like dude, I don't buy video games all the time just to just to play the video game for the for the video game content, man. I like exploring open world games and playing them. I I have like this like ever since the first time I played an open world game, I've just I've been in love with playing these types of games. I I love the open world. I love the openness about it. And I love how Gotham Knights is not making me stay in one little area. It's letting me do whatever I want to do, go wherever I want to go. 
<clears throat> and I like that about this game. I, I do. Okay, so here's the thing, man. Everybody's saying, oh, that's not, that's not a Batman game. That's not a Batman world. Man, this reminds me of, um, this reminds me of Gotham City from the 80s Batmans. You know, Michael Keaton Batmans. Like, that's what it reminds me of. I feel like. I feel like it's closer to that than it is like the, any of the other ones, man. Like the Dark Knight. I mean, maybe you could say Dark Knight too. Maybe, maybe you can. No, I mean, I like the way this this Gotham looks. I think this is a good backdrop for these characters. I think it. I think it works, man. You, you know, you know, DC. Yeah, I get that, dude. I don't. I'm not, I don't get as worked up about stuff as some of you people, man. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not that, I don't get that worked up over, I mean, it's a video game. It's not canon. It's not canon. I, it, it, I, I, I don't, yeah, dude, I don't know, man. I don't care. Like, it's a cool open world game. I like it. You know, I like that. I like that, 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 um, over there, man. I, I just, I like the way that fog and that smoke looks, man. I like that. I like that look. But, but you complained about the you complained about the fog in Horizon Forbidden West. Um well yeah, dude, that's nature. This is like a smoggy smoky city. That's what it's but, but, but frog, frog. I know, I know, man. Like uh, but you're contradicting yourself, frog, because there's too much smoke. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You're right, you're right. Um to me, the fog and everything in this game actually adds to the atmosphere a lot better than it does in Horizon Forbidden West. For me, anyways, just because when when I'm out in those naturey games, I want to see like the beautifulness all the way. You know what I mean? I want that. I want that. This right here, it doesn't necessarily matter as much because this is a city, dude. I mean, it's a city. It's just a big city supposed to so it it actually does make this look a little better in my eyes like i i like the way this looks better with all the fog and and that if it wasn't i i th i feel like if the fog wasn't there i think people would be like oh my gosh this game looks beautiful this game is beautiful and that's true like that's true but me personally i dude i'm i'm a gamer man i've got like some weird tastes like one thing that works in one game might not work in another and that's just the way it is man i am not gonna be i i mean if it works for me in one game cool man if it does it in another one i'm not gonna sit and just be like negative about it on all the time i'll tell you what though ever since i started playing horizon forbidden west on my monitor that fog does look a lot better it, it does and and there are times when it dissipates so that's pretty cool man i like this i like the way this looks man this looks like a gotham to me this looks like a gotham to me it does i like it i like the neon i like the lights dude i just i like the way this game looks man i'm sorry you guys i like it i think it's cool i think it's great I'm I'm cool, but I definitely do think that if 30 frames a second is really that big of a deal for you, wait till it goes on sale. I think it'll probably go on sale around Black Friday like they normally do. You probably get it for about 35 bucks. I think that's more than a fair price for this game. And I still stand by that. I'm I'm not gonna tell you to go out there and buy this game just because like, oh my gosh. I I have a channel, man. Like it it's in my best interest to buy this stuff and bring you content. But I've never lied to you guys. I've never told you guys. I, I've never, I've never lied to anybody or tried to, or tried to shill a video game that that I didn't like. I've never done that, not one time. And this one here, I like it. I like it. I'm okay with the 30 frames a second. At least it feels smooth. Feels pretty good. Um, I've got a, I've got a PC version too. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm okay with the Xbox version. It literally looks great. It feels great. It's 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 playing pretty good. I'm not getting the I'm not getting the uh, VRAM issues with this version, and it looks good. It looks it looks as good as the PC version. So yeah, dude, I'm happy with it. 
If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.